Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of This Week in Comics. My name is Yule, and I own Fantastic Comics in Berkeley, California. Let's see what I'm looking forward to. This week we're going to be looking at Doctor Strange number 381, Maestro's number 2, Thor number 701, and Wildstorm number 9. Doctor Strange number 381 is part one of the new storyline, new creative team. Donny Cates is a really good up and coming writer. He has done books like A Tomahawk for Image. He has worked on, uh, I think I talked about Redneck from Image. That one's really good also. And the artist is named Gabriel Hernandez Walta. For anybody that doesn't know those creators, another reason to pick this book up is that the Sorcerer Supreme is going to be Loki, Thor's brother. I don't know what that means for Stephen Strange or anything that's going to be going on in this book, but I'm really looking forward to it and uh, hopefully the Odin Sun shows up too. Next up we have Maestro's number two. This is an image comic by Steve Scrooge. I really enjoyed the first issue. Um, some people thought it was a little bit more flash than substance, but of course it was the first issue and we're getting introduced to all the characters, so it should pick up come the second issue. Definitely artwork alone is the reason to pick this up. I'm gonna pick it up, you should too. Mighty Thor number 701 is the second part of a storyline that's going on. We're gonna have a new penciler by the name of James Heron on the book, and of course Jason Aaron is the writer. For those of you that saw me review Thor number 700, you might remember that I wasn't so thrilled with the entirety of the issue. I'm a real huge fan of Thor. I've been enjoying all of Jason Aaron's previous stories. I'm hoping that with 701, we're going to have a return to form. That's why I'm mostly excited about it. It is the death of the mighty Thor storyline. Again, another reason why I'm excited. Who knows where it's going to go. Hopefully, a Thor will die. I have recently got caught up with the entirety of the Wildstorm storyline and oh my god, it is really good. It has a lot of moving pieces, there's three different organizations, there's all these different characters. He's, Warren Ellis is taking all of Jim Lee's characters from the Wildstorm universe and he's uh, seamlessly putting them together in this one crazy big storyline that's going on has really good artwork, uh, the action is always good, and I'm in it for the long haul. If you're not caught up with it, you should be, and you should be buying this on a monthly basis because it is one of the best superhero books going on right now. As always, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. You should make sure you visit your local comic shop, and if you have any recommendations or comments about my recommendations, you should put them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. And as a side note, I'm gonna let everybody know right now that we're going to be taking a one week break for the holidays. So you're gonna be having to fend for yourself. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you wanna know what I'm looking forward to. Uh, it's somewhere over here and uh, we'll see you soon. Cool man. All right.